lovelies. Today we are going to be doing a hair tutorial um, on this easy curled ponytail look. If you want to know how I did this look, please keep watching. Before we get started, the items that you're going to need are a big brush. I just used the wet brush. It works fantastic. I love it. I highly recommend it. And just a small brush for smoothing, a big round brush for our bangs, duck bill clips, bobby pins, a hair tie, some heat protectant spray. Uh, this is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. Uh, it works pretty good and it also smells really good as well. Hairspray of your choice. I'm using the Suavecita Firm Hold hairspray and of course a straightener or a flat iron. First thing that we want to do is protect our hair because we are going to be curling it at a high temperature. So I'm going to take the spray here and I, like, I just like to part my hair in the back into two sections. It makes it just makes it easier so I can get every part of it. So I just start spraying throughout my hair. And you can do your bangs if you want. I don't I normally don't, but after that we are going to brush through our hair, make sure we have it all smooth and ready to go. So next, because I have bangs, it depends on if you have bangs or not, um, on and how you do them. I like to section them off so I don't get them mixed in with the ponytail. So I just take my duckbill clip and just kind of put it to the side. Now since we want a high ponytail, a very high ponytail, we are going to flip our head up and our hair over. And then we're going to take our brush. And just brush everything forward in this direction. Gather it. And flip up. And then now we're going to smooth the sides. And make sure the back is nice and smooth. Once everything is smoothed out and in place, we're going to go ahead and put in our ponytail holder. Okay, so now we have a nice high pony. We're going to curl the ponytail. So you'll need your straightener for this or a curling iron, whichever one you prefer. I just prefer the straightener because it's easier and it lasts longer. So I just take little sections, just like this, probably about half an inch or an inch. And then I take the straightener. I do have it on the highest volume, just to ensure that the curl stays. And then I'm just gonna go under, and then flip around. And slowly just bring it down. So now you can see it makes this little curly cue. Sometimes 
it doesn't want to do what it wants to do. <laughs> so I'll just go back and redo that part. So we're not going to pin curl it or anything, we're just going to leave it. So I'm just going to put it over here for now. My duckbill clip. And we're going to go on to the next section. Do the same thing. So you want to do this and then flip towards you. And then just keep doing that for the rest of the ponytail. Okay, and then when you're done, it should look something like this. You just have all your curls. So now, I'm just gonna tighten it. And once they've cooled a little bit, just run your fingers through them, just to kind of separate them out. Okay, so they're kind of getting a little bouncy here. And then now we're going to take our brush, our regular brush, and just start to comb. So the easiest way to get like a curl effect, put them all together kind of to combine them, is to take your hand and put it underneath, and then so it drapes over your hand. So I'm just smoothing over my hand. how you get kind of like the barrel effect. Some days the ends just don't want to do what you want them to. So you just kind of have to work with it and kind of mold. So if you just want to leave it like that, then that's fine. If you want something a little bit more fancy, you could take a piece of hair. I suggest probably from underneath, just so it's not very conspicuous. And then you can actually just twirl it around your ponytail to give it that illusion that there's nothing there. Underneath on the bottom, you just want to take your bobby pin and pin it a little piece of hair into place. Before we move on to bangs, just give it a quick spray with your hairspray. And also let's tidy up some of these flyaways here on the side. So for bangs, um, mine were already curled yesterday, so they still kind of have a little bit of shape. 
Um, but if you wake up and your bangs are like sticking up like this, like half the time mine are, I just usually wet them down and then blow dry them so that way they're straight, just stick straight, and then I curl them. Also a neat trick is like if you don't want to wash your whole hair but your bangs look kind of greasy and oily and everything, you can actually just wash your bangs with shampoo or conditioner, whichever one you prefer, or both. And then it'll make them look brand new again. So if the rest of your hair is okay, but your bangs look all icky, then that's a really quick tip that I use sometimes. So I'm just gonna brush them out. So curl has kind of come out of them since yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over them again. Sorry guys, if you can hear that, it's my chinchilla. I know some people like to do them in sections, but that doesn't really work for me. So I just take the whole thing and gather it up. And then I use my straightener as well. And then I just put it under. And just curl the ends. And then I take my round brush. I'm just kind of go over it and I like to kind of smooth it out make sure I got all the areas and then I kind of fluff it up like that to give it a little bit more even so sometimes my ends or my sides don't work like I want them to so I just take that little section and go over it again. Now it's all coming together. You can do like a head scarf, a nylon head scarf. Just wrap it around up and over and then tie it like that and then you can have like a cute little do like that or you can do some hair flowers on either side so it's just up to you if you would like to just leave it like this or if you want to make it more fancy and add additional things this is the final look for the curled ponytail. If you guys liked this and would like to see more tutorials, please give this a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and also turn on that bell notification. See you guys next time. Bye.